Hey everyone! So I am finally back! Yay! Um, it's been a crazy three months, <laughs> so um, second semester is almost officially over. Um, but yeah, things have been so crazy that oh, my brain has been so fried. But um, yes, at least I can be a normal planner girl again. So yay! Yay! Um, so this baby um, part of me arrived, um, I want to say mid or late February time um, and I have changed its setup. Um, originally it was with the um, A6 size inserts printed at 89% which would just bring it to the edge um, and if you want to see how that looked it's saved on my Insta Instagram on the highlight section of my profile so you can see it there um, but right now I have it with um, pocket size inserts and I'm really loving the setup. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. So ordering wise, I ordered through email to Petra on VDS. Um, I just find it a lot easier for me personally um, because the customizations I pick normally you, you would have to go through email. It's easier to get the sizing right and just how you want the planner than going through the website. Um, so that's why I go through email. Um, as for the customizations, um, I did quite a few. Um, first up, the ordering process, it takes about five to six weeks, which is quite normal for 3DS um, and it's totally worth the wait um, with all the bits and pieces that they need to assemble. Yeah, it's definitely worth the wait and how meticulous they are to getting things like right for this planner. I'm just so, so, so happy with this. Um, so customization wise, I went for a wider strap and this is in the standard size strap is what they call it, whereas the original is a lot slimmer. Um, as for the length of this strap, I didn't do anything to it. So this is what you would normally get in the sizing. And um, there is a slight pull, but I don't mind it as this is already quite chunky. Um, and then as we open up, um, one of the main things I did change up for this planner um, is the width. Now this planner has the 20 millimeter cross rings. Um, for the original width size, I'm, I don't really remember, so if you want to know, go to their listing because they do have the um, dimensions um, written at the top. Um, but yes, for this planner, I know I've definitely widened it more. Um, this is 25.2 centimeters opened out flat, which is very similar to Giulio's. Um, in fact, just identical if you put it next to each other um, as theirs is 25 centimeters open flat of the pocket XL. Um, I based the width off of that planner because I just love that I can work to with two insert sizes, the pocket size and the A6 inserts printed at 89%. Since buying a VDS planner is like an investment, I might as well customize it to how I want it and be as versatile as I as it can be for me. Um, so yeah, um, if you go with pocket size inserts, you could fit two pens in very comfortably. And also the side tabs, they don't hit the strap um, and there's enough room for it. So I'm really happy with that. Um, sizing the tabs was a little bit tricky on the um, Silhouette program, but I'm really happy with how it ended up being. Um, but yeah, I really love it, how it turned out. Um, as for the interior, um, I added a secretarial slip and um, this full high pocket is what you normally get with a planner. Um, so imagine it wasn't a secretarial slip, you get two full high pockets um, just normally with the left side configuration and the four card slots. Um, the bottom pocket here is an add-on um, as I just use it for decoration. And then for the back of the planner, I just kept it the same so you would get this with a uh, pen loop, the bottom pocket here and the full height slip as standard. Um, so that's for that and then I also got a back pocket. Um, for this planner and for the other two parmes as well, and I'm pretty sure for my Noir, I didn't get a stiffener for it. Um, I just prefer not to get one. Um, one of them being is all the VDS planners, they have a back pocket which gives it enough stability um, and I do love the idea that my planner can mould around my inserts so it just gives it that round feeling instead of it suddenly just having a straight 
kind of edge to it. So that's why I don't have um, the um, the stiffener. But if I had it with no back pocket, I might have considered it. Um, but we never know. We'll never know. Um, and then for um, the inside, we'll just go through what I have here. Um, well, not all of it because you've seen these items quite a bit. Um, I do love to have these three, one, two, three, four items just rotating around my parmes as they are my favorite to go with this color of um, planner. So this one here is from Ashley Lee Designs. I believe that's how you say her shop name. Um, and it's this cute little panda tab. And then here I have this washi card in the silver foiling from Rose Color Days. Um, I did have to trim it slightly because this pocket is just smaller, but you can't really tell. So yay for that. And um, so that goes here. Um, we'll just pop that panda a little higher. And then in this section, I have this bookmark that my tutor um, gave um, all the classmates and myself before we went into our exams, like the week before, as a motivational thing of keep studying, you can do it, that kind of thing. <laughs> um, so that was quite cute. Um, so I, I popped it here and then I have this Pocket Rings dashboard from 15 Prill. Um, I haven't laminated it yet or popped in any holes because I just love it as a decorative piece. But as you can see here, um, it fits perfectly as a dashboard. So I pop it here and then these two items you've seen in my other setups. Um, there we go. That manga is called Skip Beat and it's just one of the funny scenes. Um, and then first up, uh, next up, not first up, next up, we've got the main body here. Um, the tabs um, I created on the Silhouette program and then with some digital files that I purchased off of various sticker shops. Um, yep. But first up, we have this dashboard from Cat Espresso, and I absolutely love it. It's so cute, and she also has it in. Um, and Dora Yvonne also has this in the blush color, um, whereas this is the clear with the holographic stars, and the blush one um, is the blush with holographic stars, and it's got a scallop pocket at the back. Um, it's very cute, and I love their sizing, where it's a good amount of room to decorate. Whereas I, I think it was the Foxy Fix one, or was it a different company? Um, their pocket rings dashboard it was so slim, where decorating was I found it really tricky. So I've just left it as it. I just didn't want to plan that way. I just used um, laminated dashboards. Um, but yeah, this makes it a lot more fun. Um, the paper is from Happy Scrappy. Their uh, December kit this is an old Fox and Pip die cut. This you've seen in my other setup before, and this is from um, Powder World. The Love one is one of their. I forgot which collection it's from, but you do see it on their listing. And then at the back, I've just got some simply gilded washi as decoration, and this 15 Prill Foxy Girl. So then this dashboard, um, I sewn it a long time ago, um, and it's got this cute um, art of the drama 10 Miles of Peach Blossom, um, a Chinese drama that they are actually making a sequel for and um, that will release at the end of this year and I'm so excited. I'm like yay! Yay for sequels! Um, it's one time I'm really happy about sequels because um, this drama was one of, is the top favourite I would say. If it's not the one, it is one of the top three favourites of dramas of all times um, for me. So yeah, it's, it's so cute. I love the storyline. Um, and then uh, we've got this pen, which is a Coaco pen. I believe the color of this pen is called Rose Quartz, I think. But it was it's a limited edition pen from 2017. Um, but the thing is, right, I've seen this pen floating around Instagram recently. So I think it's back. <laughs> I really think it's back. Um, probably not open to um, EU area or um, uh, I think it's limited to East Asia I think this color I'm not quite sure but you can check it out and see um, but this is a fountain pen I'll just 
see if I can get it out. Yeah, this is a fountain pen. Um, I don't think it comes in the gel. I think it's only fountain. Um, and then here I have this washi card that I've just kept together um, with the dashboard so it just gives the pen a bit more stability in the planner. And then for the first one, I have the calendar and these tabs are from Josephine Bow Designs. Um, and I'm thinking of getting them for another set for the back. But yeah, they're so cute and they fit in the tab. It's like, yay, I sized it fine. <laughs> yay, I did okay. Um, and then the dashboards um, or the dividers. This digital is from Create With Pen and this one's from Grumpy Bear Sticker Co. Um, and then at the back, I have this one from Kitty-ish Plans, I think. Um, I do have it in another planner video, so you can check it out there. Um, this is from NSFW. Um, this is from my friend Sydney, um, and it's from it's in my other setups as well. And then all the covers are from Annie Plan Printables, and then um, just bits and bobs here and there. Oops. This is from One Town A Million. It's a sticker that I just laminated here. Oh, let me just zoom you in. Actually, can I zoom you in a bit more? Ooh, ooh. There you go. Ta-da. So we've got one town a million, cute little steamy sticker. This is from Fox and Pip. So the first section I have is my monthly. I'll just pick a uh, clean one. Um, originally I had only up to June here, but with the redone setup, I can fit a full year. I just haven't had time to f um, fill things in. Um, but on the back of each monthly, there's a bucket list and I would just put um, things I've either purchased and tasks, that kind of thing, I would put it here and then important dates will go in these sections, so like birthdays and then certain errands that I need to run for that day um, or exams, I'll just put it there as well. Um, so this is from Infinite Lotus and then this divider is just to separate my monthly and my dailies. I don't have weeklies in here because I can't believe I caved. <laughs> I got a whole Benici Mega Weeks um, at the end of January. So this has been so functional for me. Um, and the main one that I've been using for the past two months um, because this is so cute to work with. But when you're in uni and you need to find things fast and jot things down, fast that I don't mind scribbling. I prefer the Hobonichi. Um, so yeah, it's just a lot easier to carry as well. Um, but yeah, this is the divider um, between the month and the daily. And then back here we've got some sticky notes. This is a digital um, from Happy Scrappy that I believe she still has on her shop in the printable section. So you can find it there from the December kit. Um, and then we have this reoccurring task from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, this one, I haven't figured out how to use this yet. I'm pretty sure I had an idea or either I wouldn't have put it in here. I'll, th I'll, I'll get back to it later, maybe. Um, and then I have this Today Insert um, from SM Plans. Now this insert, um, all the daily inserts in here, I would only use it if I had a lot to do for the day. A lot of to-dos that it requires a big list to do to do. <laughs> um, so that's the only time I will use it which is why there's not many and it's not dated. Um, and then the other style I have is from Peanuts Planner Co where it's a bit more separation. It has the morning, afternoon and evening and it's just a bit more organized rather than just being plain and I could just plop down whatever I want. Um, so that's that. Um, and then at the back here I've got this Hello uh, Paper Cat die cut. It's so adorable. I love the pastel feel. Um, and then we have this year. Um, this section just holds my, um, I'll go through them in a moment, um, just like your reading list, your songs of the year. Basically um, all the lists in here is what I had in my personal wide setup. Um, so this uh, digital here is from Grumpy Bear Sticker Co and then the paints is from Coffee Doodles? Coffee Doodle Etsy? Coffee Doodles on Etsy. There we go. And then we've got Reese here. Um, this shop, Silky Tara. Um, you can find her on Instagram. She now um, has her own shop um, that she can um, 
print stickers whereas originally she was on Redbubble but then some I think something happened with her PayPal account um so yeah you can find her stickers now on, on her own shop so yay because that for a while she didn't have anywhere she sold stickers and I was like no and um some girl um some Instagram um followers were asking me I was like no I don't know how to help you I'm so sorry <laughs> so yeah we've got an area to find it now so yay um and then this is from happy scrappy and then um this is from Penelope and Friends, one of her digitals, this cute little girl. And then this is actually a sticker that I just laminated to turn into a die cut. And we've got a wish list here. Um, this is the section I use more often. Um, I've got a reading log here. This is from SM Plans. And I hole punched it wrong, <laughs> which is why there's washi. Um, but I didn't, I didn't want to waste the inserts. Um, so I just thought I put down some cute little washi that actually matches the hearts. So I'm really happy for that. But yeah, the, the washi lengths are all different, which I didn't mind so it's all good um but this is the cute little reading log here and then i have a tv a tv series tracker from um peanuts planner co and then these are the lists that i also have in my personal wide um, which is why my asics and my personal wide they haven't been in use yet um i do need to update some things though i will be updating this week i keep saying i will update i will have to update this week um i just finally have the time to do it. So we've got songs of 2019, the songs I really love to listen to this year, um, movie lists, drama shows, um, anime shows, manga lists. So this is just any grid paper that I just decided to do a listing for. Makeup purchases of 2019 and then we've got embossing ideas. And then we have this insert, which is from SM Plans again. Um, this is game plan that I'm planning to use for my dissertation kind of jot down if I want to have like a quick overview of it. Um, this is the body of it and then tasks that I need to get done, a uh, word count for the week maybe. Um, and then uh, like um, appointments with the lecturer and then extra little important things so that's how i'm using this insert um and then i have this separator for happy mail we've got this one i'm thinking of using for pr um, just so i can keep track we've got online orders i'm debating to take this out because i have that wish list insert at the front here here and it's got um, order shipped and arrived so that might be more worth having instead um, oh this insert is from peanuts planner co the one with the three checklists here and also this one the um, online orders at the back this is from red bubble um, these two digitals um, this one's from sparkly paper co and this is from fox and pip we've got my health section here this you've seen before from Van Sticky. This is a digital from 15 Prill. Um, Hello Paper Cat. Um, this one, I forgot what I was gonna use this for. What's this, health? Health. Um, don't really remember. Don't know why it's in here. Might need to shuffle it. Um, and then we've got, this is my anxiety tracker that I need to update. Um, as I said, second semester really took over my life that I was not a planner girl. I was just a simple jot down the things you need to do, get it done, good, great, move on, that kind of thing. Um, but yes, this I need to update. Um, I've got my migraine, tra migraine tracker here and then some, any extra little things like vitamins probably I need to go for. Oh, and skincare routine. Um, what kind of products I'm using right now. Um, and then we've got this cute little um, dashboard from Glitzy Trooper and die cuts are from um, Happy Dea. Then this is my finance section. Um, these two digitals, I actually don't remember where they're from. I'm so sorry. Um, I really don't remember. Um, this is from Redbubble, 15 Prill. I believe it's one of her collections. Um, it's from Powder World. Oh, they recently, um, uh, launched a new collection and it's it gives such a tranquil relaxing feeling you should guys yeah should check it out um, I think it'll go really well with um, the foxy fix um, 
leathers like sage and what was the other one spice something oh i'm getting really hungry um yeah it's, it's really pretty i love like the neutral colors of it i wonder if i can find it hold on give me a moment sidetrack hold on let's see if i can find it part of the world 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 Ta -da. so oh gosh is that showing like that is so cute i would say like these two and also there's some at the bottom they're so cute like a very homely feeling um so yeah check that out um and then we have what else what else do we have and we have a checklist here and then things that i can't show <laughs> uh, we're getting to that point um so we've got this divider that just has um a little girl shredding money um, for spending. Um, this is from Redbubble again. Um, this is a yearly bill tracker from Peanuts Planner Co. I track subscriptions. Um, and then I'll just skip that um, due to personal information. And then this is from Wonton in a Million again. Um, from Terra World. And this cute little charm is from Carolyn Plans. Carolyn Designs. Car her, her personal account is Carolyn Plans, um, and then the shop is Carolyn, Carolyn's Design XO, Carolyn XO, no Carolyn, wait what is it called, hold on, no, 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 I must remember, hold on, doodly 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 doodly. I will find it, give me a moment, uh, shop, Carolyn, Carolyn, where's your shop name, no, I found it, it's called XO Carolyn Designs, there we go, I will also leave descriptions, I will need to actually update a few video description boxes I'll put it in there um, but they're so cute it's like a cute little star and then a pink little moon it's so adorable and then we've got these two digitals from Fox and Pip and this is the home section um, so personal data is in here um, I don't know why I put it under home I think it's because there wasn't personal so I had to put it under home um, from Van Sticky cute little um, vellum and then reoccurring task is for home stuff cleaning to do lists um and then extra note paper we've got here at the back i can show you the back part um some contacts um this is from um peanuts planner co again and then we've got the back we've got this pocket thing i believe is from um philofax is a freebie from powder world like ages ago absolutely ages ago um and then we've got this vellum sheet that i put some washi on at the back and then we've got my page lifter that i created um using some laminated confetti and i laminated the sheet several times um like several pouches um on top um just so it just gives that sturdiness um and then i have this pocket thing this is a midori passport size pocket insert um so if i could just take it out here so this is for tn originally but it actually fits in this pocket so you've got this zip lock um, that actually took it off um so it doesn't indent the planner in any way um this cute little die cut is from fox and pip like a while ago got some sailor moon cards here some vintage stamp um, decorative pieces and then at the back it's got um, two card slots um, whereas here it's just one big open one so I just slot that here oh dear hold on there we go and the vellum piece in here the love story one I don't remember which shop I got it from but if you type it into Etsy it should a shop should come up I'm pretty sure it's one of the popular ones, so they should be on first or second page. Um, but yeah, so that's that. And then in this pocket here, we have two items. I've got this one from Grin and Barrett um, in collab with Cat Espresso. So cute. And then I just have this cute little laminated um, confetti with a wing here. And then this Fox and Pip bow here. And then this is a Simply Gilded pen or pen gem pen it was one of the simply gilded boxes let's pop that back 
and then at the back I've just got some personal info. And that's it really for the planner flip an update. Yay! Happy days. Um, hopefully I'll get to film more um, later on this week or next week. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the flip and yeah, see you guys soon. Bye!